Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In this video, we are going to look at top 10 important points for the counseling purpose, which you must understand and you must have answer to those questions. Okay. We will also look at the major changes in the rules in the process this year, which has happened and which might happen later and what impact is going to make on the cutoff trends. Okay. In case you are uh, looking for the paid counseling guidance, we have some good news for you. For limited candidates, we have given some offer of discount, but it will be for limited candidates. Okay, so first come first services. So in case you have planned to take guidance from us, you can avail this offer. If no, no problem. So and you can uh, visit our website needmentor.co.in. On the portal, we are adding some features. So if you have subscribed to our portal, okay, you can get benefit of those features in coming days. So what are the 10 points which you must uh, know and uh, you should have answer to those or you should have the strategy to tackle all those 10 challenges. First thing for any candidates, which counseling to apply? For the government colleges, you need to apply the counseling MCC and in case you have eligibility for domicile criteria, then state level counseling, these two counselings only. For government seats, DNB seats, diploma seats. In case you are looking for the private colleges as well, then you must decide which are the states you should register. This year the registration is going on for the one time only. So you have the chance for the complete counseling to do registration in the first round. Rajasthan state has already completed the registration. They opened the second time and closed it. So they, oh, they have closed the registration for one time. In MP, the registration has started again and it is closed. Today, the registration is going to, uh, in UP also it's closed. And today in Karnataka also is going to close, okay. So some major states where the registration is already closed and in other states is going on, it will be closed in coming days. Some states like uh, Telangana, West Bengal, where the registration is yet to start. Chhattisgarh also it is to start. Okay, but whatever the current ongoing process, you, you must figure out like these are the states where you should do the registration. Doing the registration, paying the deposit doesn't mean that you must take the seat. Those are the options that we have created because in the further round you don't have the options to create again. You can't add any more state in the middle of the counseling because it's one time registration. So in case we have the eligibility, it will enable you to switch over to some other states in case you see the cutoff trend in particular states where you have targeted to get the seat as per the last year cutoff. Nowadays, candidates are more smart because many smart portals are there available. Even Neat Mentor provides a smart portal which you can access in just 3000. Okay, that is very affordable. So how it helps? It gives you the cutoff. It gives you the tuition fee, stipend, bond and everything. But it doesn't give you that what can be the expected cutoff. Okay, it doesn't give you how to do the choice filling. It doesn't give you the strategy that how you make the strategy. Okay, so some of the basic idea will be getting to know about the last year details. The portal might have all the details collated from last five years. No problem. You can do the analysis. But as per the rules changes, which is happening each and every year. Okay, last year the rule changes happened. The counseling allowed you to upgrade up to third round. In 2022, that was not the case. This year, the rules have not come yet, but already a big change already made in the counseling process that is one time registration. And this rule change is going to impact the counseling, cut off everything heavily. Why so? Suppose some candidates from particular um, states like Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, those candidates they have an idea looking at the portals and all the videos that in UP there is a chance to get the seat in the low score and in mediocre budget but they don't want to come to the northern area okay 
so last until last year they had the chance to enroll into the counseling process for the up for the second round but this year if they are not so much interested for up they are just thinking that okay we have to keep that backup and they are not ready to pay 2 lakhs just to keep a uh, create a backup okay but in the second round they realized that they are not getting the seed through their desired states they don't have the chance to come to the up again okay so in that case the cut off might vary okay but until last round until last year they had the chance opportunity to do the registration in the round 2 in most of the states okay so those changes will play a big role and it will negligify the cut off trend for the last year in most of the states which you might not want to realize now you just see that okay seats are increasing so positive cut off a fee is increasing so positive cut off but the cut off would be positive in every state it is not so some the, some of the states are very highlighted and you are also targeting those states what if in those state the cut off is uh, taking negative shift and in some of states the cut off is taking negative shift means in some other states it will be taking positive shift and in whichever states it has taken it is going to take positive shift if you haven't registered for those states you are not going to get benefit of those positive shifts okay so deciding the states where you must apply okay to create the eligibility is the first step okay if you miss out then you have no fight in those states okay then knowing the correct fee structure hidden fee including hidden fee how much is the total fee you have to pay in some of the state the hidden fee is as much as 10 lakhs per year or even 15 lakhs per year in some states is 5 lakhs per year in some colleges okay but you need to know and how much is the stipend actual stipend so that you can figure out okay how much effective fee you have to pay suppose take an example of gujarat there the stipend is more than 80000 okay around uh, 10 lakhs or more you are getting in return per year with the help of stipend so you can create you can calculate your effective budget third thing how much deposit you have to pay states like uh, himachal pradesh in the first round there is no deposit in here haryana there is no deposit in the first round but what if you have to participate for the second round you have to pay 5 lakhs deposit in himachal pradesh so would you able to afford that much deposit paying uh, in 3 4 states or 3 4 counselings okay that's big factor so selecting the right state at the right moment okay i don't want to go uh, to this state we have some other states where we can get the seat okay we have some third state where we can get our backup branches so how to choose the options so that you don't get the backup branches in multiple states that will result in losing the uh, deposit from multiple states okay and at the same time the priority one branch you have in, in your mind putting those options in multiple states okay at at the same time assuring that you are able to get the backup options so how to create the strategy it fully depends on your rank your branch selection your budget and all such things so possibilities of getting seats through which counselings okay in which round and up to what round you have to uh, participate in the counselings college wise department wise opd ipd bed details and uh, its review do you have that if you don't have you need to get it so how you can get either go through the social media platforms facebook um groups but in those platforms it's like peer review it's not from the candidate who is studying or the residents who is studying over there neat mentor health facility under the paid counseling guidance we provide the contact details of the candidates who are studying over there so that you can talk to them and you can get the real time review whether it's a government college whether it's private college it's a deemed university dnb diploma anything we can provide you some of the contacts so that you can talk and get the internal details about the department and all such things it is also possible that if you have the review of the department or the college of uh, previous years it might change this year because it changes depending on the faculties depending on the professor and other factors so you need to take the current review round 2 round 3 choice filling that's very important and that will save you 
deposits as well as well as give you the best possible seed but you have to do it in very calculative manner what are the factors which helps you in the calculation how many registrations are done okay comparison with the last year comparison of the seed with the last year okay the candidates who applied in particular states where you are doing the analysis in which other states they have applied okay where are their interest if they take the seat here and don't join it will go to the second third round okay so do you have the chance to get the seat in the third round so many things will come into picture so accordingly you have to do the calculation the calculation might not be 100% accurate but depending on your terms and condition it will work out how to balance the choice filling to secure the deposit we have already discussed choose backup branches but in which round you have to which round of the counseling you have to put the backup branches so that safely safely you keep the backup branches and you also have the option open you keep your your eligibility open to get the best possible dream branch okay in some of the colleges suppose you kept the budget up to 30 lakhs per year in some of the colleges the fees 35 lakhs but the stipend is more there okay so you can keep that also as a option okay in some of the states the fee is less okay stipend is also less so you can also consider that okay and uh, understanding the current trend not the last year only current trend demand and flow of the candidates in particular state and do analysis accordingly and able are you able to calculate the expected cut off whether it's going to get positive shift in particular round or negative shift accordingly you have to put the choices suppose you are targeting two states there the chance of getting the seat is lesser than last year because the competition is higher so you must have selected some third state where the chance of getting seat is higher if you have that third step in mind and you didn't register at the right time then you are losing the opportunity and uh, keeping your eligibility to go in the further rounds let me tell you what mistakes the candidate will do okay so the what the system is taking input from you is choice filling okay so first mistake is uh, many candidates are failing to secure good seat okay especially after having good budget also in hand because they haven't to idea about all the states and they haven't done the registration in the right state or they have not done the choice filling or they have not taken the counseling uh, went to the, the counseling for the particular round many candidates are very uh, much uh, interested to take the seat in the first round but the good seat is not available in the first round it will be available in the second round so you have to uh, make your uh, counseling approach accordingly due to incorrect choice filling often the candidate uh, fail to secure the security deposit they will be losing the security deposit in multiple states i know many candidates who have done the registration in eight nine states which is whichever states coming into the way they have done the registration putting the deposit also because they don't want to lose the year instead of that you must have selected calculatively two three states states okay and uh, in very calculative way you do the registration and do the choice filling suppose in six states you do the choice filling around two definitely you will get the seat okay but you are losing so much of money also disqualification from the third round if you don't uh, do the counseling in right way and you keep the backup option in the first and second round and you are expecting the seat in the third round and you are not qualified to upgrade up to third round somebody got the seat who is having poor score than you in the third round then you don't don't have anything other than to regret okay so calculation is very much required that what choice filling to do in which round what choice filling to do in which round you have the option to do unlimited choice filling but how many choices you must do in particular round which choices to add in particular round you must know student will miss out their ideal college even branches if uh, even having the right score and um, rank okay so just uh, studying the last year cut off would not work because you study last three years cut off you will see that so much of uh, variation in the cut off okay so it's all due to merit 
due to fee structure due to demand and due to um, changing in the rules so these are all things you need to understand and do the counseling then i believe that you will be able to get the best pick out of the counseling counseling is all about getting the best pick from the bucket in your credit area that's all thanks for watching have a nice day